It's time to think outside of the oval. Welcome to Sonoma Raceway and here for the Sonoma 12. Beautiful day today. Beautiful packed house. And there's a good look at the drag strip, the Sonoma drag strip right there. And there's your starting lineup. Sonoma Raceway. Let's get it on. Row one, Jimmy McMurray in the camera car. Row two, Casey Kane and Casey Kane. Row three, Chase Elliott, or sorry, Jimmy Johnson and Chase Elliott. Row four, Danica Patrick and Dale Hart Jr. Row five, Tony Stewart and Kevin Harvick. Row six, Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch. Row seven, Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin. Row eight, Carl Edwards and Kyle Busch. Row nine, Matt Kenseth and Carl Edwards. Row eleven, Matt, or sorry, Carl Edwards and Matt Kenseth and final rows. You can see there Brad Keselowski, Brad Keselowski, and. Joey Logano and Joey Logano. That is your starting lineup for today's race. I'm ready to get this ready to go. The one drive hasn't been very nice to me. That's because I'm... It. That's why I'm uploading it so late. It's time to think outside the oval. I think the green flag's about to wave. Green flag right in the air! Camera car spinning. He's spinning. He's <laughs> getting out all these guys' way so they can race their own race. Jamie McMurray with a huge lead already. Casey Kane, Casey Kane's already battling for second, and here they come. Casey Kane in the Great Clip Chevrolet has taken second. Jamie McMurray still out in the lead. We're doing the full circuit this time. The full circuit, not the small circuit, the full circuit. If this works out, we might do it next season as well. Even though it is a longer race. As you can see here, Jamie McMurray's still in the lead with Casey Kane's right behind him. Great clips and farmers. And I do believe that's Chase Elliott back there in fourth. And I would like to see who's in fifth. Maybe it's Jimmy Johnson still. Jimmy McMurray still has a huge lead back there. Yes, it is Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson, no, Jimmy Johnson's in fourth. Chase Elliott's in fifth. I must have uh, not seen their sponsors correctly. Because it looks like, yeah, that's Jimmy Johnson in fourth. That is insane. There it is, Sonoma Raceway. Around the paperclip turn. They are racing back to the line, and Jay McMurray will lead the first lap of today's race. This will be exciting because next season, next season, I will try to do stages. So each stage will be its own race. But I will add them all in together. That's the way that my stages are going to go, is... You know, we might have, you know, Daytona 30, 10, 10, 10. Uh, you know, I don't know about the Sonoma uh, 12 or the, the Microsoft 10 at Watkins Glen. I have no idea about that, but long races, there will be stages. And it looks like Chase Elliott took over fourth from Jimmy Johnson. That's good. Good for him. He's moving up in the pack. He's trying to get up there, but I don't think he will. I do believe that Jimmy Johnson ain't very happy if, you know, if Chase Elliott did something to Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy Johnson can come back and do the same thing to him. So he might want to watch his back quarter pain. Unless he passed him fair and square. Yeah, he passed him fair and square. Wait, who is that? No, that's Dylan Hurd Jr. Where did Jimmy Johnson go? I have no idea where Jimmy Johnson went. Where did he go? 
Because Danica Patrick's right behind Dale Hart Jr. Hmm. That's insane. I don't know where Jimmy Johnson went at all. There's Danica Patrick right on board with her. And Kurt Busch is right behind her. I don't know where Jimmy Johnson went unless he just disappeared all, all of a sudden. Actually, you know what? There was a there was a little bit of a melee. Uh, someone broke too hard and someone else went into the grass. I think it was Danica Padgett that went out in the grass. So Jimmy Johnson might have got damaged and he had to go down pit road um, to fix that damage. So that might be a good reason why uh, why he's not up there in third, fourth, fifth, you know. I did see that at the beginning of the race. If you all were paying attention, you would have saw it as well it wasn't that hard to see like it was you know if you put focus on the cars behind them and you see that you see that uh dirt that's flowing everywhere uh yeah you, you'll that dust that's flying everywhere you, you'll see it you'll see the crash right looking at kyle bush's m&m's car that he's running for this race he's got two cars running this race actually mm -hmm. Um, sorry guys. Jim McMurray still your race leader. Let's crank it up. Will be sponsored by GoPro. Just letting you guys know. When the crank it up rolls around, it'll be sponsored by GoPro. That way I don't have to say it after, but I still say it after. This is a longer type of race for Sonoma the first time this season this series is actually going to be racing on here on this type of track a long Sonoma and you know what guys I do believe that it's time to say you don't have, if you have the volume not cranked all the way up I think it's time to crank it up. This uh, Crank It Up was sponsored by GoPro. GoPro, be a hero. Just saying that. Now looking at Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jamie McMurray is still your race leader right now. Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to get around Chase Elliott in fourth. And he's trying to put Chase Elliott in fifth. But Chase Elliott won't let him. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going through what I'd say not the hardest turn of this track but it definitely uses up a lot of brakes because you're going there at full speed and as soon as you get there you gotta not slam on the brakes but you really got you got really gotta hit the brakes to slow down if you brake too much somebody's gonna get in a wreck so that's something you don't want to do and that's something you don't want other people to be involved in um Dale Earnhardt Jr. still chasing after Chase Elliott rear riding along with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Good work we're back up here with Chase Elliott for fourth place Car. Chase Elliott. 
in the number 24 Napa know-how car. And just in case you're wondering, Amy McMurray is still on the race leader. I'm not really sure how many more laps we got, but I'm just letting you know now, guys. It's going to be real exciting but at the end. Oh, I hope we have at least some kind of battle for the lead or battle for some kind of position. I don't want to wreck. I just want, you know, a battle for positions or something. That's all I want right now. Just to, just to give you guys some entertainment, you know, just to make it more intense here. Have everyone side by side or something. That would have been exciting. And it looks like Casey Kane is trying, in the Great Clip Chevrolet, is trying to chase down Jamie McMurray to take away that first spot from him. And he is really wanting it to. Season 1 and 2, Jamie McMurray. Er, Casey Kane dominated here. Next race. The Microsoft Infinite. Or sorry, the Microsoft 10. Or no, sorry, the Poppets 12 at Walkins Glen. I got that wrong. The Poppets 12 at Walkins Glen is going to be exciting. Maybe Jimmy McMurray can go back to back if he does win today. Maybe he can go back to back there at uh, Watkins Glen. Just maybe. And this is not your race leader. Race leader's right there, Jamie McMurray. Going into turn 11. What I like to call the hairpin turn right there that's turn 11 looks like first and second has actually moved away from the pack and not really has done anything really that much exciting since the beginning of the race where the camera car literally spun himself out so he could get out of the way of these guys yeah, first and second has pulled away from the pack. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to find a, a wreck or something, you know. Just make it a little bit more intense. Show, show you what could happen. Just show you what could happen. But it's going to be an exciting day for the Poppets 12. Murray is dominating this race ever since the first lap of the day. He has been nothing but unstoppable. The only thing that could stop him now is a wreck. And I don't really want to jinx him, but I'd say that the num that number one McDonald's Chevrolet is the one to watch right now. The one to watch and the one to root for right now because He's been doing nothing but dominating today. And I would love to see that number one in victory lane here in the Sonoma 12. Poppets 12 will be the next one that rolls around. And I say it might be exciting. So you might want to tune in to that one as well. Because you never know what might happen. been a relatively not exciting day to say maybe places like hmm, Daytona, Homestead Mini, Test Track which is very new, or maybe even Indianapolis, you never know 
what might be exciting and what might not be exciting. You never know. There might be some <laughs> there might be a lot of wrecks between here and Indianapolis, but you never know. Oh. Hope there haven't been any major accidents today. But you know what they say. Comes around, comes around. Or what? Sorry. What goes around comes around. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm talking right now, guys. Yeah, like I said in the beginning of the uh, race, uh, my one drive wasn't exactly working with me. It wouldn't let me. It wouldn't, you know, take everything from my Xbox that I wanted to and put it on here, riding along with Casey Kane. And the great clip shift the layer and we're now we're looking at him. Um, but it wouldn't let, it would, it said something went wrong every single time I tried to do it, so I fixed that. I don't know how I fixed it, but I just left it alone for the night, and then I tried it again, and voila. There it is. So, Casey Gaines still chasing down Jamie McMurray. And I feel like Jamie McMurray has this locked in the bag. Like, he has this in the bag. There's no one going to stop him unless there's a wreck. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not jinxing him. I don't want to jinx him. I don't want to get. I don't want him to get in a wreck. I really want him to win the championship. I want, to, I want him to be the two-time Coke Zero Cup season champion. And I feel like this is the year. 2020. We started in 2019. Now it's 2020. It's going to be exciting. No matter what, it will be exciting. And going for the hairpin turn once again. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is closing on Chase Elliott. He might get fourth away from Chase Elliott. You never know. I would really love to see Dale Jr get in front of Chase Elliott and just have like a little battle back there. Not a wreck, just a battle. I don't want him to wreck. And if, if, if they do wreck, then that's bad. <laughs> but, you know, if Chase Elliott stays there, that's obvious. It's obvious that he has talent. You know, he has talent for this kind of sport. If he can stay there all the, ra all the rest of the race. He's been there pretty much all the rest of the race. Let's go with the camera car, see what he's in. Nothing yet. Of course, he's waiting. He's a waiting. He's waiting for something to happen. I don't know where the cars are either. Hmm. Oh, there's Jamie McMurray, and here they come. First, second. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, and that's it so far. Seventeenth. Obviously, the eighteenth, nineteenth, and twentieth. 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, they must have all got some kind of damage because that's not normal. There's a good look for you at Carl Edwards's was a subway car. Carl Edwards's subway car. Brad Kozlowski in the number two. Black and yellow number two is looking to get around him and see if he has any anything for the 19. Let's see if he can get around him clean. Come on, he's got to get around him at some point. He's got to get around him. Oh, he turned him! He turned him! He turns Carl Edwards around. Brad Keselowski in the Brad K car gets around. And Carl Edwards in the subway car goes around because of the two. 
Black and yellow card. Oh my goodness. And Brad can't hit him. Brad Kislowski in the number two white Brad car, Brad K car actually actually got into him. He was with the Lions car, so Oh he came up, yeah. Carl Edwards tried to go down. Alliance of Brad Kozlowski tried to go up. And Denny Hamlin got a little piece of that as well. Let's see what he saw. The last second he's gonna hit him. Boom! Ouch! Luckily there's no real damage to these cars yet. Here's what. Ouch! He is the first car that got hit and then boom. That's really what sent him back around. And here's what Tony Stewart saw. Man. He's running so good, too. Just there, mind his own business. And that happened. Anyway, looking back at Chase Elliott. He, Chase Elliott's actually pulled from Dale and Hart Jr. here. And might get fourth. There's no, there's no might. There, he is going to get first, fourth. <laughs> he is going to get fourth. Oop. Yeah, he's, he's getting fourth. <laughs> oh, everyone's in the grass. Oh, no. Everyone's get, going into the grass. This is not good. Everyone's slowing down through the grass. They're getting into the grass. Everyone, oh, my goodness. Everyone's overrunning corners. Kyle Busch is over, overrunning corners. Who's that over up all oh, over there? I think that's Danica Patrick all the way up there. Chase Elliott's almost back into the grass as they're coming around. Chase Elliott still has fourth. And Jamie McMurray wins the Sonoma 12 here at Sonoma Raceway. Man, I cannot wait to see him burn this thing down. Okay, good start. Let's see if he gives him it. Let's see if he can drift. I want to see him drift. Is he gonna drift? Hey, there we go. <laughs> He's drifting. He's just giving little fans just a little warm up of what he's gonna do. Hey, oh, we lost it. All right, keep her going. Go, 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 go. Don't stop there. Just go. I know where he's going. He's going to that little runoff area over there uh, after you exit through the drag strip. And he's drifting again, and he's going around again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jamie McMurray. One wild cat. And will he be able to drift this one? Whoa, whoa, look at this! Look at this! <laughs> he drifted the entire corner! He drifted the entire corner! Ah, oh, he lost it at the last second. Ah. Uh, but he's still going. He's still going. <laughs> he's still going. Go, 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 go. Don't stop. Don't stop. Go. I don't think he's going to stop either. <laughs> And here he goes, yeah! Oh my goodness, ah, oh, into the tire barrier. <laughs> oh, back it up and go. Burn that thing down, boys! There you go. He's burning that thing down. There, well, there won't be any tire left on that rim <laughs> after he gets done with it. Uh oh, we can't see him camera switched. Come on, Jamie. We can hear him. Just can't see him. Come on, Jamie. There he is. There he goes. Alright, after that little show, he's gonna drift again. Nope. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, no! He lost it! Oh! Too close to the wall as well. Woo! Oh man, that was close. <laughs> He's gonna go back onto the front stretch. He's gonna burn the rims off that thing. He's gonna burn the tires off the rims. You just watch. 
Oh, he lost it. Oh, hard to the wall. That's him done. That's that's done. He he's not, he's not going anywhere now. He's done. That 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 ruined his car. Yep, he's done. Yep, he's slowing to a halt. Ah oh, man, I really want to see him burn that thing down. There he is. I'll see you guys later.